Are you only worried about trying to pursue her because you're 28? You don't want to like get like aged out of the dating pool? Because technically, as a man, not, like not you're probably necessary. good up until age 40. You can still reach yeah. into the 20s because that's no. just. Again, see, this is a fucking video game nerd. There's no idea what he's talking about. Oh, you're you can reach into the 20s up until age 40. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Destiny, this fucking video game nerd, giving relationship advice to a viewer. Everyone's always like, Destiny, yeah. It's like playing video games while he's giving advice here. So yeah, sure, very qualified to know about relationships, but at least he seems somewhat intelligent. So let's go through and hear what he has to say. God, this is gonna be a mistake. It's gonna be all these fucking annoying video game sounds. Hello. Hi there. Uh, nice to meet you, Destiny. How are you? Oh, Jesus. You didn't tell me it was bonger relationships. All right, you got until Mooten finishes his game. What do you want? I, I, I live... <laughs> so now he starts. What do you want? In DC. I, I live in America, so it's an American relationship. So you're like a foreign invader. It's even exactly. worse, but okay. Yeah. Go, hit me up. Um, so a little bit of backstory. So a couple of years ago, before just before Corona, I got in a relationship with this woman, uh, Jay, we'll call her, and... <laughs> he's not even listening, he's typing to all his little fucking video game friends. I fell <laughs> really deeply in love with this woman. Uh, she meant the absolute world to me, uh, and I continue to think about her to this day and everything like that. Now, she was from Russia, so and she was here in America. Um, <clears throat> Give me uh, and, timelines. When did you start dating? When did you break up? Well, so we started dating about eight months before Corona, so probably midway through 2019. Okay. Um, and then as Corona came out, uh, she was forced to move back to her country. Um, so I, we like couldn't be together. It just didn't work out, unfortunately. And now with everything happening with Ukraine or whatever, I'm not too sure that it's going to be possible for my brothers to, take my her to even, or, or for, for us to even work out at all. now. When she initially moved back... Now he's laughing at the kid? He's like a huge fucking asshole. I have already been in long-distance relationships. Didn't mm -hmm. work out for me. I, I, I don't like them, so... I decided not to pursue that sort of... Uh, that sort of relationship with her. Mm -hmm. And... When she... Uh, so, so, so we broke it off. I got with this new girl. Her, her name is H, let's say. So... Paige so, is great. Russian girl goes back because of coronavirus stuff. Even though you really like her, you decide to break it up because you can't do long distance. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I'm now in a relationship with H. It's been about a year and a half. Um, and she loves me a lot. And I have love for H, but I don't. Not the love same love that, that you had for a Russian lady. J. And, and God, I, I guess I just feel really lonely every single day. And I don't. <laughs> he misses the other girl. Even though he's with this new girl, and he feels lonely. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know how I could ever explain that to Jay. Uh, oh, I don't know how I could have explain, ever explain that to H. Uh, H. Okay, we're gonna have. This is a real tough one. Do you love her? Uh, do you love her enough? Enough for what? To be in a relationship oh, with oh, her and love sure. her. Uh, do, do I do I love H enough to maintain a relationship? Um, so I've been thinking about this as well. So like I'm 28, so mm -hmm. I know that the, the dating pool gets scarce once I once I hit 30. There's a myth. Dating pool gets scarce once you're 30. Okay, I'm gonna be 40 this year, still dating a fuck ton of girls. I have lots of clients in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, still dating a fuck ton of girls. Lots of guys think like, oh my god, I have to you know get into something before I turn 30. Or be no, you don't. Um. Uh, and I don't know if I should just settle. I'm I'm a very handsome guy. I have a British accent living in America. Like my yeah, dating is pretty fucking good. Mm -hmm. But um, I still don't want to like put myself in a position where you're kind I... of like I understand. Some He's like, hey, video game nerd, give me advice about girls. Thing yeah. that is um, <laughs> something that is very 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 difficult. First of all, never ever 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 tell your current partner this. Okay. Um, like, holy shit, Mooten. Fuck me. Yeah, I saw that. Um, a lot of people don't like this idea, um, but it is the case that... How, lo how long did you and the Russian girl date for before she moved away? Yeah, so we. So that's another thing. I don't know if I'm like getting in my own head. Because yeah, because you we dated, only dated for a short like amount of eight months. Okay. There, was, there was eight months relationship. So it's like enough to know that like you can love I someone, like but it's... Like a way 
overly complicated question. All right, it's like if he's super into the Russian girl, try to get her to come back or go to her. If you're not with, if you're with a girl you don't want to be with, then don't be with her. It's pretty simple. But a lot of guys have no idea how to get any girl options. Okay, we are running the best program in the industry. You can go find out all the details on a 30 minute call. We'll diagnose all your problems in the game and give you our optimized, customized solutions to fix all those problems and get you to your goals very quickly. Okay, so book one of those free 30 minute calls in the description. Not yeah, like, yeah. So commit, commit, yeah. there are lots of cases where, man, this sounds so bad to say, but there are lots of cases where people have this like first love or people date a girl, it doesn't have to be the first one, but you date somebody and for whatever reason, that chemistry is unmatched for the rest yeah. of your life. And you might meet somebody different and you might love them, you enjoy them, you like being around them, there's like no problems or whatever. And for whatever reason, that girl that you, that first one you got obsessed with or whatever, it ended, but you just don't match that feeling in the future, that happens and sometimes that's just like a thing. Um, if you ever tell your partner this, it will likely be a relationship ender because they're always gonna yeah. feel like a second choice or whatever. But yeah. um, that's a that's a really hard thing. There are lots of people. That There's like phenomenon, like people that fucking try drugs and shit. They say like, oh yeah, the first time trying this drug was like the best and like the second time was like the next best. And then it's like downhill from there, right? So like when you like flood your brain with oxytocin, which is the chemical associated with feelings of love, and pair bonding and all that stuff, then maybe that's like the high, right? And then it's hard to match that again. Could be one theory, but I don't, I don't buy into that in the first place, anyways. That that that's gonna be the the only one that sticks with you. I mean, it's memorable because it was a new experience, a new a new way of feeling, and it could have been particularly hard to get over, right? Because the first love or whatever can be debilitating psychologically and emotionally and stuff like that to a lot of people. But I don't know if I would buy into the theory that like, oh, you can't reproduce that or ever have a feeling stronger. But, um, fuck, I saw, I think there was a Reddit post like two years ago, I think I remember. But I think the question was something like, um, did, did you, how many people in here ever got over their first love? And there are a lot of people saying things like, you know, I super love my wife or my husband now and it's really cool, but man, there was this guy or this girl, we dated for a while and, oof, I've never had that feeling with another person. I super love my current spouse. They're perfect, they're great, blah, blah, blah. But that, that feeling is unmatched. That might just be like a thing that, yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a, yeah, that's a, it's a really hard one. Oh. <laughs> that might just be a thing. Best thing that you can do? I just explained, there's like the novelty effect, right? Like it's particularly hard because you have no reference experience. Once it's over, like it's hard to deal with. Is tell yourself that you're, <laughs> It's hard, but the best thing that you can do is like tell yourself that you are um, maybe over romanticizing what could have been. Eight months is a decent amount of time, but you could say that like, um, you know, you've only been with them for eight months. Maybe there would have been more problems that would show up because like there are girls that I think about like that where like we, for a very short time we were together, but holy fuck, the chemistry was like, God damn. But then like, I'll try to like logically think about it. It's like, and I know the people and I'm like this, there would have been all these problems. I know these problems would have popped up if we would have dated. Um, it's just hard to feel that way, but. They would have been like, Destiny, let's hang out. And he'd be like, hold on, I'm playing this really nerdy video game, girl. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, a, it's a hard one. Do you yeah. still talk to the girl commonly or frequently or? Uh, Jay, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. I tried that for a while, even like while I was, don't don't tell her this, while I was dating H, I mm -hmm. tried like talking to Jay just to like maintain some sort of connection. But mm -hmm. eventually I had to like just call Turkey because I, I just kept on thinking like, man, this could be it. You know, like mm -hmm. what, what if, what if, what if? And like I work in, so I work in, I work in hotels um, and a woman, made a reservation who had the exact same name as jay yeah and and i like i and i i was am shift okay i was in at 7 a.m okay that means i get up at six mm -hmm. six like 10 and you waited until the check-in I, the... I, I waited until yeah. fucking 10 p.m for this woman to, to check in holy mm. fuck i'm in my fucking own i'm in my brain okay i'm in my own brain <laughs> like such a dumb question <laughs> he's like i really liked someone i don't like the new person as much what should i do Go back with the other person. I, I don't know what to do with myself. Bro. But a lot of guys don't even have any options, right? Like a lot of you watching, you're a virgin. A lot of you watching, you're on a dry spell. A lot of you watching, you want to be having sex, but you don't know how to get options. Okay, we can fix all those problems. We break guys' virginity 
or dry spells very quickly, usually in week one or two of my week program. Once you have a systematic approach to regularly generate hookups and dates, everything becomes very easy. Okay, get on a call to find out exactly how we can do it for you. I don't know if I should like try and live in like some, some like... I mean, like here's something to think about from perspective. It, it probably isn't as bad now as it was like a year ago, I'm hoping, thinking. Would nah. Uh, in fact, I think it's only gotten worse. I think oh, I'm it's even more, worse. Oh, I think I'm more obsessed now than I was. Yeah. And and what can cause these obsessions, right? If a guy's like thinking about the girl a lot, looking at pictures of her, looking at her social media, talking to mutual friends, even talking to the person directly, that's all going to activate neurological pathways, which have the semantic relevance is going to be a function of frequency and recency. So the more that those pathways are exercised and the more you know, repetition that's going on, that's going to really ingrain it and make you miss the person a lot more. So my best breakup advice, and we'll put in the end screen, how to get over a breakup, it says in 2019, but it still applies today. That advice is to block everything, delete all pictures, don't let mutual friends tell you about the girl anymore, don't fucking try to find out what the girl's doing and, and talk to her and all that, and then the feelings will just fade. And here's the thing, I, I know that Jay, um, love me in in a in the same sort of fashion like i was her first in a lot of respects you know mm -hmm. i was her first relationship mm -hmm. um i was her first you know time having sex and everything like that so we we i took this girl's virginity we shared a lot of those sort of moments together um and i think we had a really really special um really special relationship even though it's only eight months I can't like I've I've been married before as well. Like, I mean, I've been married and I, I divorced, this so is I know like what a real relationship looks like. Sure, I mean, are you only worried about trying to pursue her because you're 28? You don't want to like get like aged out of the dating pool. Um, because technically, as a not, man, like you're probably necessary. good up until age 40. You can still reach yeah. into the 20s because that's no. just again. See, this is a fucking video game nerd. There's no idea what he's talking about. Oh, you're you can reach into the 20s up until age 40. I'm gonna be 40 this year. Okay, still banging girls between 18 and 23. Not a problem, okay? That we have lots of clients that come to us in their 40s and their 50s and their 60s that still sleep with girls in their 20s. There's no fucking cutoff. There's no ceiling. That's a dumb myth. This dude doesn't have the fucking experience or skills or knowledge to know what the fuck he's talking about, okay? Maybe he's good at video games and doing nerdy shit like that, but he doesn't have the experience with chicks to know what the fuck he's talking about. He's just repeating, you know, oh, this seems to be like this. Yeah, you don't fucking know. Yeah, women dates. I mean, it's not like you're going to be like, oh, God, I'm it, like, it's not the same pressures that women have. Sure. Um, I am. Um, I guess I I'm just worried that um, it's it's impossible, an impossible relationship, you know, like, <clears throat> like. Well, I mean, like, if you have, if you have, that could, that could go, that could go really hairy, real quick, like very soon or whatever, if, if it does. Sure, but I mean, like, if you have like this level of attachment, and if you think that she has the same feelings for you, it's not like unrequited or something, right? Then wouldn't yeah. it make sense to just, I mean, like, you break up with your current girlfriend, and you just say, "Fucking go for it." Yeah, that's what I said in the beginning. Oh, you like this other girl better? What should I do? What should I do? That is. That is <laughs> and then worst case scenario, you, because I think that. It's easier to give advice when it's on one side because it's just never going to work, right? Yeah. Like, the, but if it, if you feel like it's on both sides, then I mean, it's just really like what these fucking kids do. They sit there and play video games, and he's going to give relationship advice while he's playing video games. Seems like you're maybe going to hate yourself forever if it for not trying, and then also if this relationship. Not to be mean, but most relationships don't work, right? Statistically right. speaking. Yeah. If you end up going on with this relationship and it lasts for like three or four years and then it doesn't work, you're probably going to super hate yourself for not trying, right? Thank you. I, I appreciate <laughs> the Common sense. The kid's like, I like the other girl better. He's like, date that girl then. He's like, thank you so much, Destiny. Really appreciate it. Taking the time. I know you didn't have to. I know you didn't do it for the money, but I'm glad that Dan wasn't hooked in who to fucked it up. Oh my God, um, dude. Do it for the money. Yeah, don't ask that guy. Ask someone like myself. Okay, he's done this fucking thousands of times. Okay, <laughs> we are running the best program. We will optimize your texting, your online profile, how you run your dates. We'll optimize how you approach women in public. Okay, we'll give you the best chances to be able to take home random strangers from public or from online apps and get into romantic or sexual relationships with them. Go book a free 30 minute call. Let me know what you think in the comments. Ask any questions there. And please like and subscribe to the video. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on a video soon. Watch that breakup video in the end screen. All right, take care.
take a look at the scores I put numbers up on the boards I'm in a section with models And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon